I've never done an unboxing video before, but that's also because I basically never really order any any yarn online, but I actually have two packages this time, so I figured I might as well do a video. Um, I ordered this package first. It's from a Dutch web shop called Gauss Atelier, and actually right after I ordered this one, I think I ordered this one on Tuesday maybe? And then basically that evening or the day after that I got a message from someone who wanted to order something uh, that I was gonna make and I showed her the yarn that I had available. She wanted some colours that I didn't really have so she actually said well I, I can just order something and then send it to you and then you make something so that's where this one comes from. So this one is actually, I didn't pick out this yarn. She just sent me a screenshot and asked if that kind of yarn was okay. And this one is the one that I actually ordered. And I was, I was planning on only buying, actually needed only one kind of yarn, but then I ordered way too much as you will see. But I will start with this one because this one is for me the least exciting one. But I've never ordered with, this one's from Wollmagazijn, and I've actually never ordered something from that before. And I never ordered any yarn online yet, I think. Um, so I don't know what to expect. So this might still be interesting. I don't know. Otherwise, I'm just going to speed everything up. Okay, so this is from Wollmagazijn. I'm not showing you any of these papers because all of my information is on here. Um, but yeah, you can see she ordered a, 12 colors of soft fun. Um, originally she just wanted some uh, bunting, but then I said, well, you're ordering quite a lot of yarn. So, um, yeah, then basically she said, okay, can you also make something um, like a little vest for her youngest kid um, who is four. So yeah, um, now I can do two things, which I'm happy about. So these are the colors. As you can see, they are kind of muted colors, most of them. And I've worked with soft fun before and I think it's such a nice yarn to work with because I mean it's really soft but without being fluffy or anything and you can still see all the stitches and I really like that. And I'm quite excited to work with this yarn again. I've only worked with it once when making I think some baby toys and then I work with like a bright red. So yeah, it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be exciting to work with this and I love this color. I just I, I really like the colors. I like this kind of muted the mute colors and this one's really nice. Well they're basic they're all really nice and I'm gonna send her a picture soon to kind of ask which colors she wants to use where. Um yeah, basically what, what her plan is, what she wants, and then I can start making it, and I hope it's going to work out. I haven't really made any clothes before, but I figured if I can do crochet, I can learn how to make clothes with crochet. Basically, the pattern that I found is all using granny squares and then putting them together in the end, so I think that will be okay, but... It's, it's going to be an adventure. I, it's going to be something that I've never done before. So now this one. This one I actually ordered. So a few things in here. I need a few things in here. Are, are things that I just really want to try out. And a few things in here were just really pretty colours.
I think they're actually from basically the same brand, but they have two shops because yeah, if you if you look at look, these ones pretty similar the address is actually also the same so yeah here you can see i ordered a lot of yarn especially i love scheepjes katona which is i think a dutch brand it must be with that name um and this is actually i love this color for blonde hair if anyone knows like a good scheepjes katona for blonde hair i'd love to know because i i think a lot of the colors they're either too yellow or too brown but yeah I, I will show you this color i think it's really really nice um and then i you're supposed to be able to be able to use this if you make something and then want to weigh down the bottom so for example i make these little little people but then if you like they fold down a bit because you know the head is bigger than the rest so i'm hoping that i can use this just i'll fill the first bit with just normal um normal fiber fill filling and then the last bit with this and i hope it's gonna work i don't know i've i've been meaning to buy it for quite some time but then i never did um and i really wanted some gold embroidery thread for just if you want to do some details and basically i ordered all of this and then basically five minutes after paying i was like wait i'm forgetting something so then i ordered more um so then i ordered just another just uh, like a light gray which i'm all, almost running out of and this is a fluffy yarn because i wanted to do a tutorial on how to use fluffy yarn so yeah i just needed this color basically and then then the rest happened i love the packaging it's like a little present to myself that i'm opening and it's actually really nice that i got the order for the bunting and the little vest right after i ordered this because i was feeling kind of guilty about spending all this money on yarn so yeah it's always nice if you then get an order to kind of make up for it basically my goal is that at the end of the year i haven't spent more money on yarn and crochet supplies than i've i've made by selling them and most of the time it's about even i really like these colors so as you as you can see i was mostly ordering colors for dolls and stuff like that so this is the blonde that i currently like to use and that's the only one from from this brand and i've actually i i was making another doll with another hair color but i think i like this one better wait i'll, I'll get the doll Okay, so you can see here, so this is Supergirl and Clark from the TV series The 100, and this is Supergirl's hair colour, and this one's just a bit, it's a bit orange, or like it's, this is more like a strawberry blonde, and this is more a true blonde, so that's why I really like this one. And I ordered this one because I thought it might be, but it's... It's very similar, it's more like a red, kind of red undertones, but I still think it's a really pretty colour. It's definitely going to get used because, yeah, I, I will basically use anything. And then this colour, I actually, a bit ago, I ordered 
I'm just gonna get my yarn here. I ordered some extra, um, yeah, some extra brown colors because I did have, like, I have some brown colors, but if you're making dolls, it's, I think it's just really important to get, like, the skin color and the hair color right. And I already had this brown, but this brown's more like a, a this one's a, a warmer color. And for skin colors and for hair color, sometimes I just like this one better. And I had it and I used all of it, so I just ordered it again. Yeah, and I, basically these are my darker browns now. And yeah, you can see this one's really red. This one's more of a, a middle tone and then this one's a bit more ashy. more brown colors. On camera it looks more red than it actually is. What's the color? I can put all the colors down in the description. My camera gave up on me or my phone. I don't know why. Maybe I don't have any memory anymore so I'm gonna talk fast but basically I got a gray color. I'm making an anteater which is really cute. And it's a really similar color. This is actually another brand, but I'm I'm trying to stay with one brand just because it's easier to to order, and it's gonna match with the fluffy yarn that I got. So that's always nice. And basically, I only needed one or two shades of green, but then I don't think you can ever have enough green. So yeah. I was trying to choose between these two because I wanted a, a really bright green because I'm running out of mine and then more kind of toned down color green and then I just ordered a lot but let's see what kind of yeah because I have this green so it really matches well and I don't really have any anything double or triple now so I'm glad that I got three these two again i basically ordered everything that i was kind of running out to or that i was missing so i was running out of this one and i wanted a more toned down so i'm happy with that one then i got a really bright yellow a bright yellow bright pink and i got a more toned down version so i think you know i'm, I'm gonna use it that's always the thing this is the one that i actually needed just plain black um I basically totally ran out of mine, so this one's the uh, the one that I really, really needed. And then the rest I just... was a bonus. Um, and then this is another skin colour. I have quite a collection of skin colours. But I like having a collection of skin colours, so... Yeah, that's a good thing. This one's a bit too... A bit too pink. And then... This one's a bit whiter than this one, or a bit more pink, but still realistic skin color. So yeah, that's always good to have. And then my gold. It's a really nice gold. I think it's gonna look great just as some fine little details. And this one, I am really looking forward to trying it because I have no idea what it's gonna look like, what it's gonna be like. I really hope it's working because yeah, I think it would be great the things that I make don't fall down. So I'm going to try this soon with the next doll that I make and hope it works. And that's it. I have 20 seconds before my camera stops again. So bye. Please tell me if this is interesting for you. Please tell me if it's not. Um, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Don't even have to stop the camera because it's just gonna stop by itself now.